AMD is seriously pushing in on Intel. Second gen Threadripper is coming pretty soon, and is this fake and nano? Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. While I usually more go over gaming related hardware, this is a pretty big announcement from AMD that many outlets aren't going over much. Yesterday, AMD announced a whole range of new Ryzen 2000 series CPUs. This time, they're the company's pro versions. For those who don't know, Ryzen Pro is the professional version of their non-pro counterparts and are essentially heavily binned for higher quality, longer lasting chips. This allows AMD to offer better warranties, which Ryzen Pro comes with. That and there's more security features like Secure Boot and better encryption. Basically, they're great for businesses, and AMD just launched a slew of them. From all new Ryzen Pro mobile processors and the likes of their low power Ryzen Pro 2300U, 2500U, and 2700U, to Ryzen Pro versions of their regular and low power APUs. The Ryzen Pro 2200GE, 2400GE, 2200G, and then 2400G. What's really exciting about their announcement is the involvement from HP, Dell, and Lenovo. Sure, we saw a couple laptops last year from them, but this time the three top PC makers have a ton of new products made for businesses and enterprise workstations, all coming with AMD's new Ryzen Pro on board. This includes laptops like the Dell Latitude and Lenovo ThinkPad, as well as PCs like HP's Elite Desk and Lenovo Think Center. These are some massive wins for AMD and should certainly kick Intel into gear. Next up for today, Ryzen Threadripper's second generation is now being sampled. We don't know too much about it besides rumors pointing towards August for its release. I wouldn't expect more cores or anything like that though. Instead, it should be getting the same 12 nanometer treatment second generation Ryzen got, meaning higher core clock speeds, boost technology, and better memory support. What's great is that Threadripper CPUs were already heavily binned, so you can bet there's going to be some of the best overclocking we've seen, with basically lottery winners across the board. So far, AMD has confirmed Threadripper 2900X, 2920X, and 2950X, which I'd assume are the three only processors coming out, though who knows, we may be pleasantly surprised. Lastly for today, we have a little clarification on some rumors that were spreading at the possibility of finally getting that Vega Nano that AMD showed off when they released RX Vega last year. The rumors came from pictures of a smaller card by power color, which clearly is the same size of Vega Nano shown off last year. Well, we now know what it is, thanks to a press release by power color. And it's kind of Vega Nano. What I mean is it, it is, but it, it isn't. Okay, that didn't clarify much, did it? Um, okay, it's basically a Vega 56 that's been scaled down using a smaller PCB. PowerColor is confusingly calling it the Vega 56 Nano Edition. As far as its specs, nothing has been revealed just yet, but it's definitely something to look out for. It's just not the same as the Vega Nano that was shown off during the launch event. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for Threadripper, or do you just want that Nano version of Vega 56 for your couch gaming setup? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.